The proper operation of a fire department pumper is a broad subject which can't be covered in a short time. However, in a general way, let's take a look at some of the responsibilities and problems of the men behind the pumpers at a fire. Delivering water at a fire in the right amount and at the right pressure is a most important phase of firefighting. This is the job of the pump operator, or the engineer as he's called in the Los Angeles Fire Department. It is we have in service, has been designed to cope with these problems. Although assigned to engine companies according to the needs in their particular districts, all pumpers are capable of efficient performance in any area of the city. Pump operators may be called upon to operate any of these pumps at any time as a regular assignment or relief. Our pumping equipment didn't just happen. It's the result of the practical ideas of the men who use the apparatus, recommendations from department mechanics, manufacturer's ideas, and requirements of the National Board of Fire Underwriters who grade the city's fire defenses. Your fire department knows what it wants and needs and does its level best to give you useful and adequate working tools. A fire apparatus is constructed to very rigid specifications by skilled men and is checked against these specifications at every phase of construction. Before being accepted, a new apparatus is run through standard acceptance tests. After a careful check by department mechanics, the apparatus is ready to go into active service with a fire company. It is delivered along with its all important log books by a qualified man from training to demonstrate its operational features. All qualified personnel are given practice in driving, in spotting for hookups, and in operating the pump. Okay. Top performance and low maintenance costs depend on three primary factors. A desire to do a job well, having the necessary knowledge and ability, and most important, actually doing the job efficiently. Day-by-day -day care is necessary for proper maintenance. The first consideration of an engineer going on duty or upon return from a run should be to make a routine check of his apparatus. Its batteries, ignition and lighting circuits, oil supply, water, fuel supply, tires, the condition of suction caps and discharge gates, and that valves and pump controls are in the correct setting for immediate operation. should also be determined if equipment carried is secure or possibly missing. Lube charts provide a graphic checklist that will help in maintaining proper lubrication. Even that fitting way up behind all that piping and so hard to reach depends upon someone to take care of it. Log books cover in detail operational and maintenance features of an apparatus. They are of no value if not referred to and kept up to date. Routine care and cleaning provide an opportunity of checking for worn or damaged parts. Signs of mechanical breakdown may be noted before they become dangerous.
after starting an apparatus, dashboard instruments should be watched closely. Oil pressure gauges, air pressure gauges, and ammeter. All of these instruments help in determining the operating condition of an apparatus. Use them. Firemen respond with apparatus to emergencies under all kinds of adverse driving conditions. Traffic problems in our city are most complex and require the exercise of good judgment. Both day and night, in wet weather and fog. An engineer must consider weight, load and balance, clearance and turning radius, and braking distance. The average driver with a 10-ton rig will travel a considerable distance between the time he sees the emergency and comes to a stop. An engineer must know his controls and how they operate well enough so that his actions will be the result of trained reflexes that will not detract from his alertness to traffic conditions. He should know his district so well that he doesn't have to watch for street signs or the location of fire hydrants or guess when he'll encounter dips, narrow or torn up streets, extra hazardous intersections or at what point he's liable to cross the path of other apparatus that may be responding to the same location. The driver must be ever alert to the safety of citizens and the possibility of the hose wagon making a quick stop, placing firemen in a hazardous position. Although extinguishing a fire is of prime importance, Pump operators should, upon arrival, make an effort to keep from blocking other apparatus, streetcars, buses, and traffic in general. Accurate spotting for a pumping job results from practice. The pump operator's helper can facilitate spotting by clearing hose lines from the path of apparatus as quickly as possible. Pump operator will undoubtedly develop favored hookups for both hydrant and drafting operations best adapted to his apparatus.